tonight from Lamar High School. It's a District 4 6A matchup as the Vikings of Lamar play host to the Vols of Bowie. This crosstown rival here at LHS, John Nelson on hand, our AISD TV crew. Lamar overall at 13 and 10, Bowie at 18 and 8. Our second look this year of both teams. They're chasing North Crowley. Eagles currently with a two game lead over Bowie. Lamar and Sam Houston tied for third at five and three. Lamar has won three of its last five and coming off a 49-41 win over Martin. Poindexter, Brown, Williams, Elmy, and Hobson. The starting five for Bowie tonight. Three seniors and a couple of juniors for Alan Gratz in year number 15. He's a steady rock over at Bowie, as is uh, Kelly Carruthers on the girls' side. The Volunteers coming off a loss to Sam Houston. Win Jacobs, Gray, Maury, and Champion. Three seniors and two juniors starting for the Vikings tonight, averaging 50 points a game. Zach Burks at the helm in year number six. Vikings lost to Bowie twice last year, and the Vols won the first game by three. It was a low scoring affair at the Alamo, 38-35. We're just about set to go and back with a tip right after this. And we're back at Lamar High. The volunteers have just been introduced. They're in road blue with orange and white trim. There's Bowie, 18 and eight overall. But coming off a loss to Sam Houston, Texans beat them last week, 53-45. And the starters for Lamar. Vikings in the game you saw in the win over Martin. In a nice second half, and it'll take that and more to stay with the Volunteers tonight, but they're already fired up. The Vikings on the left. And number 23 in the middle of all of it. And just about set to go. Deshaun Lowry <laughs> still jumping up and down. Big matchup tonight. Deontay Champion at number 33 and the 6'11 product, Dante Williams. Close to seven feet. He's headed to Kansas State. Deontay Champion with 23 points in the win over Martin earlier this week. And 16 from the field. So Lamar and Hope White with maybe blue trim. Champion and Dante Williams. And Williams just kind of reaches back and easily controls it. JT Brown in the backcourt. Paseo Elmi, number 30. And Vandy Hobson, number 31. Hobson averaging 11 points a game for the Volunteers. Elmi, 6'2", senior into Williams and a two-handed throwdown. The jam slam by Dante Williams. Had 10 points his last game in the loss to Sam Houston. Jeffrey Jacobs at the point. Julius Jackson on the left wing. And off of Jackson, the pressure by Rico Poindexter, number two. Julius Jackson gives it up to Bowie, already leading 2 0. Volunteers averaging 56 points a game in district. Lamar in district play this year, giving up 52 in the ninth district game for both teams. Rico Poindexter waiting, waiting, and number 31, Vandy Hobson. Hobson scoring over Jamal Gray. Champion with a jump pass right side. Back to 
Deontay and Champions three-pointer missed. The lob feed to Williams. Back out it goes to Elmy. Hobson turns. Poindexter and the Volunteers reset it as uh, J.T. Brown looks over towards head coach Allen Grants. Into Hobson again. Hobson working on uh, Jeffrey Jacobs down low. Three-pointer! Number 30, Paseo Elmi. And a 7-0 volunteer lead timeout, Lamar. Not the kind of start that the Vikings wanted. By contrast, just the kind of start that Bowie wanted as they huddle up. We invite you to join us next week for National Signing Day. It will be webcast on Wednesday, February 4th. Our game of the week next week will originate from Arlington. Former coach Don Lewis, as we continue to call upon former coaches in the school district to sit in and help us. Don Lewis coached the girls here at Lamar and the longtime boys coach of Sam Houston. So he'll sit in with us next week for the Arlington Sam game. Julius Jackson. Jackson working on Poindexter and almost turned it over again. Jamal Gray. Maurice back outside. And trying to go down low is Jeffrey Jacobs. Knocked out of bounds by the Volunteers and Deontay Champion will inbounds. Dandy Hobson on the ball. He tips it. Who's got it? Out of bounds. No, it stays in play. Now it goes out of bounds. As Poindexter trying to break away. And Lamar gets it back. We play two minutes and 35 seconds in. And a 7-0 volunteer lead. Side court champion. Julius Jackson forced deep. Front court and a high lob to Jacobs. Jackson behind the back and lost it. Squirted out of his hands. Here's Bowie, three on three, and the, yep, palmed it. He turned it over, JT Brown. Volunteers last year finished second place to Martin in the district. Williams with a block. Jeffrey Jacobs tried to take the shot and Dante Williams with the rejection. Lamar last year finished in the third place tie with Pascal, made the playoffs at eight and six, and lost in the by district round. Bowie advanced five rounds. Volunteers with a great season last year, went to the region one finals, lost to uh, DeSoto by eight. By no means a one-sided game that night. Kicked, it comes to Jacobs. Jacobs off the glass, offensive charge. The Vikings still haven't scored. Team foul number two. Fossil Elmi inbounds to JT Burrell. 28 wins last year overall for Bowie. Dante Williams, who changed his name from Dante Hales, <laughs> was on the other side and helps up his teammate, Mandy Hobson. Foul is going to be charged to Jeffrey Jacobs. It puts Bowie at the line. Vandy Hobson at the strike for a couple. Eight nothing volunteers. To the bench, Andrew Wynn. The guard in for Jeffrey Jacobs. 
Here's Hobson's second charity. A 9-0 count. The Vikings in search for any kind of a basket. Andrew Wynn up high. Maury back to Wynn again. And that's short from three-point range. Rebound, Bowie, Hobson, it's loose, still loose. In the corner, JT Brown saved it. In traffic, Brown, nice pass, a little bit out of control there as he tried to go to Elmy number 30. Substitution, Bowie. Richard Robinson, number 11, into the guard. Julius Jackson, Jackson with a three-pointer. Julius Jackson has Lamar's first points. Vikings earlier this week in the win over Martin had two three-pointers. Kicked loose, it was dislodged from Vandy Hobson. Deontay Champion with a jump pass down low in the miss. He did everything right but scored. Poindexter trying to take it all away and closing in fast was Keith Maury. Maury last touched it. Richard Robinson with the rock. Tosses it up to Hobson and Hobson may have been hit from behind. Oh, travel. Hobson came down with it and they rule a travel. Julius Jackson, right hash mark. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter. They shoot it over to Gray. Jamal, right of the circle, gives it up. Julius Jackson trying to hit another three. And the Vikings. Will Julius Jackson consecutive three pointers make it a three point game? That's one way to get back in it. You just hope they go down. If you miss, you still trail by six. A risk reward early for Lamar, but they have to try to get back in it. Robinson working on champion, mismatch there. Rico Poindexter. Poindexter with a three. Rico, a 5'10 senior. And the drive, and Julius Jackson completes the play for Lamar. Jackson with his eight point timeout buoy. It's 12 8 with 2.03 to go in the first quarter. We need to mention some uh, all district honors that were handed out over the holidays. We haven't really had a chance in football to. Uh, announced the winners for the all district uh, selectees had a district 4 6 eight. in football this past season Nico Small the defensive back for Bowie was the co MVP with Nick Smith of Arlington Martin the offensive MVP Shane Bouchelle the quarterback here at Lamar Josh Watson at Martin the defensive MVP will pick it up at the next break, but I uh, did want to mention some of the football standouts that were announced over the Christmas break. Entry pass, Williams kicks it back out. TJ Williams in. The drive, Robinson going left hand. Richard Robinson. Lamar, Martin, Bowie had the brunt of uh, the all district players. Jackson and Dante goes up with his second block. Coaches of the year this past football season in the district. Co-coaches of the year, Anthony Chris and Bob Wager. Or you know it, it'll be spring football time. 
Almost got away from Jamal Gray. Deontay Champion off balance three, not there. Outlet pass, T.J. Williams over Champion. T.J. as Lamar tries to give it ahead to Maury and kicked away with under a minute to go in the first. A nice breakout first quarter for the Volunteers, leading by eight. Jamal Gray, the 6'3 junior to inbound underneath a Viking goal to Julius Jackson who comes to the ball and scores again. Nice inbounds feed and Jackson was committed to the play. He's in double figures with 10. 40 seconds remaining. That was about as exciting as the uh, fifth grade student who sung the national anthem tonight. Back outside to Robinson. Ellis Elementary providing the student tonight. And a turnover, 13 seconds to go. Bowie gives it up. Deontay Champion misses. Rebound Williams with four seconds. Robinson at the top of the key with two misses, and that's the end of the quarter. The Volunteers leading Lamar at the end of the first, 16-10. As we come back, just about ready for period number two, it'll be Lamar's possession at midcourt. The Ate champion right in front of us. To me, he looks much taller than 6'6". Inbounds and the gift to Julius Jackson. Well, the Afro maybe gives him another four inches. Front court champion. Underneath, Bryce Motry starting in the second quarter. Jamal Gray from behind the glass pushes up nothing but air. Easy catch for Bowie on the other side. Turnover. Champion on the drive and the finger roll. Count it, Deontay Champion. Donovan Davenport in as well for Bowie at a guard. For the Volunteers team foul number two. And Deontay Champion at the line. 23 points earlier in the week against Martin. And he does miss, as the Bowie cheerleaders were hoping he would. Jerian Glover, a Glover, there he is, number five. Glover takes it inside, and it hangs and hangs and drops. Jerian Glover, 6'2", senior, 18-12, volunteer. Champion going to try to start something again. Almost lost it. Volunteers give up 48 points in district play. And the grab as soon as the bounce pass came to Notre. Foul is on T.J. Williams. Team foul number three, as you see head coach Zach Burks. Always does a nice job here at LHS. Big win earlier in the week over Martin to fight for a playoff spot. Try to stay alive. Lamar at five and three with Sam Houston with the same district record. We'll see those surprising Texans next week. Champion working on Glover. Shoots over Williams, not there, almost tipped in. Nice move to the hole by Notre. Bounce pass to Williams. Inside to the 6'11 senior, and Dante Williams has tripped and forced out of bounds. <laughs> Gave him a saddle to ride him out of bounds. Ball belongs to Bowie. Glover to Robinson. Go, 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 
We played two minutes into the second period. Cross court, open, three on the way, and the miss by Williams. The outward pass contact, no foul. Rolling over, blocked. And now the drive and the block underneath. Well, you had carnage all over the place. Deshaun Lowry was undercut, number 23. And then the foul on uh, Williams will put Champion at the line. <laughs> Deontay Champion, Lamar shot 68% the other night on the free throw line against Martin. They had two three-pointers. They have two tonight in the first half. That'll get them back in it, 18-14. The Johnny Horton score took a little trip down in New Orleans. Hits the top of the backboard. That was launched by Donovan Davenport. Champion right of the lane. Gives it up, Andrew Wynn. The champion and in one motion, able to get behind Davenport, got the pass and the shot off at the same time. He'll draw the foul and head back to the line. For Bowie, team foul number four. It bounces and goes through. Well, this could make it a two-point game. The volunteers raced out to a 9-0 lead. And it bounces in again. Not pretty, but it counts. <laughs> Someone said a long time ago, you, you don't have to like the painting, but you can appreciate the strokes. Taken away by Champion. Glover lost it. And a long three missed by Jackson. That would have given the Vikings a one point lead. Robinson backs it out. Richard, a 5'7 sophomore. One of two on the varsity. JT Brown misses. Run down to midcourt by Jackson. Julius working on Robinson, uses the glass and tipped in on the bottom of Notree. Bryce Notree has made it a new game. Lamar on a 13 to nine run. JT Brown in the middle, there he is, number 13. JT, a 5'8 junior. Hobson trying to get behind Notre in the lane. Three fifty left in the third or second. Well, Lamar just going side to side and shutting down every attempt by the Volunteers, and that one on the floor. That'll be team foul number four on Lamar Andrew Wynn, number three. Picks up the foul, non-shooting foul. Volunteers get it back. Richard Robinson to toss it in play. Elmy misses a three. Up high to grab it, one-handed champion. And the Viking could take the lead here. Jackson on the drive, and Hobson went up. Andy Hobson picks up his first team foul, number five. It's a two-shotter and Julius Jackson at the line. Jackson, after missing a lot of playing time, finally getting back and getting a feel for the game again. Isaiah 
So the 6'1 senior, one of six on the squad with a second chance, 19-18. Lamar has taken the lead. Another buoy turnover to travel. And Coach Gratz has seen the lead disappear and wants to try to stop some of this uh, scoring spurt by the Vikings. Hobson will guard champion. Jamal Gray. Gray with a jump step and a drive and a miss. Rebound caught, waist high by Elmy. Hops in front court. Williams to Robinson, deflected out of bounds. <laughs> and Lamar gets it back. Number two, Rico Poindexter back into the guard. Jackson will shoot from 13. His 13th point, he's got a Baker's dozen. 21-18, Vikings. JT Brown. Deontay oh, champion with a floating three over Hobson. He buried a couple of those the other night against Martin. 24-20 Vikings, minute 40 to go in the half. Hobson got the bounce pass, tried to go baseline, and was kicked. Team foul number five on the Vikes. It's gonna be on uh, Notre, it is on Notre, number 35. JT Brown to inbounds. He'll trigger it back in and toss deep. To Williams, Dante turns and misses, but on the way up, Bryce Notre got him. Team foul number six. And at the line for a couple, Dante Williams. Coming off a 10 point game and a loss to Sam Houston and misses the first. Keith Maurice, number 24, back in for the Vikes. Missed them both. They had a very low trajectory. But sometimes if you're that big, you're shooting down at the bat. <laughs> Isaiah Hayes in number one. Champion misses a three-point attempt. Minute 12 to go. Poindexter almost ran away from it. Trying to paint him in the corner. Vandy Hobson connects. Six points for Hobson, the junior. 24-22, Lamar, under a minute. That one spins out. Three-pointer taken from the right corner by Jackson. Out of bounds, and Jamal Gray to reset it.
Marie with a pass to Jackson, broken up. No whistle, Elmy broke it up, number 30. Poindexter, three-pointer misses. 24 seconds to go in the first half. With nine, Gray, Jamal Gray misses and a loose ball foul. It's gonna be on Lamar. It's gonna be on champion pushing off. So Bowie has time. Gotta go all the way down here now for the one and one. The seventh team foul committed by the Vikes. JT Brown at the line. 5 8 junior. And a one and one. And a chance to tie it up. He'll draw the bonus. Bowie next week will host North Crowley, then play at Martin. Lamar will host Pascal, then play at at Arlington High. He got them both. We're tied at 24. Two seconds. Champion from about 28 misses. 48 points total. In the first half, 24 for each squad. Back with the start of the second half. Right after this. As we get set to go in the second half, Lamar outscored the Volunteers 14-8 in the second quarter, and Bowie in for a battle tonight. Again, coming off of a loss in which to score just 45 points against Sam Houston, and the Volunteers will have it at midcourt to begin the second half. Vikings getting three three-pointers. In the first half, the Volunteers buried two. And Bowie will operate from left to right. JT Brown. And Champion comes all the way out to guard him. Hand off to Elmy, back to Brown. Trying to get it down low and broken up in the steal. Julius Jackson, the double team by Jackson and Gray. Jeffrey Jacobs. Back out to Champion. Champion hard off the glass. Easy rebound caught two-handed by Dante Williams. Dante held the two points in the first half. On the run, spotting up and missing is Brown and Dante underneath the big arms and the reach up easy layup. I say just two points, he now has four, but that's not Bowie's game to pound it, pound it and keep moving it inside to Dante. Hobson and Elmy have had good games this year. Again, Bowie six and two in the district. Two games behind North Crowley. Maury off the square. Twenty six all. JT Brown drifts to the middle, picked up by Jackson. Shoots it to Poindexter. Baseline a little bit too tall. Try to go the alley oop to uh, Bandy Hobson. Turnover Volunteers. Jamal Gray over Williams. Nice rainbow drop in. And Lamar leads it 28-26. Came in averaging 50, Bowie came in averaging 56. Volunteers won by just three, the first meeting at the Alamo and a foul on Williams. Not on him, he was fouled. 
Jamal Gray fouling the Bowie senior. Underneath, Poindexter misses. Jackson looks over at the Viking bench. Goes cross court to Gray. And the return feed. Maury, and there's a turnover. JT Brown around Maury, misses. Oh, Lamar dodges a bullet there. Three on two. Contact, is it a charge or a block? It's a charge on Jamal Gray. Well, now they confer. The defender may have been moving back. See who overrules who. It's on Bowie. And number 20, Jamal Gray at the line. Foul charge to the Volunteers. It is their first. And Jamal Gray connects on the first. Foul was on uh, Vandy Hobson, number 31. At the moment, the Vikings lead by three. It's not on Hobson, it's on Elmy. Fazel Elmy, number 30, as they change it, charged with a foul. Lamar, five of seven in the first half. Now seven of nine for the night. The Vikes by four. Always a good crosstown rival contest when these two teams hook up, girls and boys. Poindexter reverse way up. Right on the two, Poindexter. A little bit of Jason Kidd right there. So the lead has been trimmed to two. Gray right of the circle to Jackson. Julius back near the right sideline as they try to work on something that might surprise the volunteers or give them an advantage. There it is, Maury underneath, back out, no opening. Bowie with a nice defensive move on Maury. Jackson misses a three. And Bowie staves off that Lamar threat. Lamar six points this quarter, the Volunteers with four. Elmy. Elmy with a three, team three-pointer number three. And the senior has two of them, 31-30 Volunteers. Out of the hands of Jackson, he gets it back, gets it back again. And before he can hand it off to Jamal Gray, he is fouled. Second team foul on the Volunteers. Foul call number 31, Andy Hobson. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage of AISD basketball this year. One game left at Arlington next week. We've had some good games and some that have gone right down to the wire this season. Overtime contest at Mansfield Timberview and Seguin. Jackson has 14 points 
And a chance to give the Vikings the lead again. Oh, Champion with a steal on the inbounds, and they miss. Volunteers living right. <laughs> Poindexter separated from the ball, out of bounds. Off of Lamar. Number 23, the case in the lineup on the ball. Alan Gratz. Going to change things up a little bit. Bruce McCain, number 23 in the game. We didn't see McCain in our game with Martin earlier this month. Here he is, guarded by Champion. Two and a half minutes remaining. Poindexter from the dotted line, short. Scooped up underneath by Williams and then Champion hit him hard. Team foul number two on Lamar. That's his second, second team foul. Earlier tonight, the Lady Volunteers came back. They were down by 17 points in their game at one point to Lamar and won it 50-45. Yeah, there's a little bit of blood on the hand of Dante Williams, so he has to come out. They'll treat that as long as it's not a talcum powder delay of game. I hope we don't see a talcum powder incident again tonight. Held up the game for about 10 minutes earlier this week. Well, we'll see. I don't see anything being handed to the students. <laughs> but they're so sneaky sometimes. Ryan Glover in for Williams. The volunteers are at the line. Ryan Glover. Bowie, four of six in the first half. Now five of seven. Still treating the hand of Dante Williams over on the bench. A scrape and a cut of some kind, in and out. But they get the rebound, Poindexter, short. Champion still battling, Poindexter again, short, and is fouled. Both teams just not giving up at all. Over in District 14, 5A, the Cougars of Seguin, gonna be hard pressed to make the playoffs. Lancaster, Summit, Lake Ridge, and Red Oak, your top four teams in District 14-5A. Glover will have another. 33-31. And that one kicks out. So Lamar down by two. Jackson on the wing. Steps around champion on a block thrown by Poindexter. Third team foul committed by the Balls. Deontay Champion, right corner, three, count it. His second three, he's got 12 points. Team three-pointer, number four. And Bowie answers right back. Rico Poindexter pours in his second three. 36-34, minute 30 to go in the third. And a block on Poindexter, preventing the uh, area that Jackson wanted. They're having words. <laughs> Back in, Dante Williams. And Deontay Champion to Notre. Maury. 
in trouble. And from behind, and a timeout call. You can see the volunteer defender slipping in from behind, trying to cause some havoc as we step aside with a minute 17 left here in the third. Side court, Lamar's possession. Jamal Gray holds it high over his head and dumps it into Julius Jackson. And at two remaining in the third. Volunteers nursing a two point lead. Jackson now changes, goes to the left. Looking underneath. Gray in the left corner, champion in the right corner. Jackson wanted to give it to Gray. Now looks over at Deontay. A half a minute to go. Well, if you're a Viking fan, this had better work out to uh, their advantage holding it this long. Jackson now back to the middle. 14 seconds left. With nine. Julius with a three, not there. Five seconds, rebound Williams of Bowie. Two seconds, one, and that'll do it. We go to the fourth. The Volunteers leading the Vikings 36-34. Fourth quarter underway, and the Vikings have it right to left, trailing by a deuce. Julius Jackson. One on one with Rico Poindexter and the grab and Poindexter <laughs> held him a little bit too long. That's team foul number five. Poindexter has now picked up his third foul. Jamal Gray now kind of together with Jackson before the inbounds. Here's Gray. Deontay Champion feeds Gray. Intended for no tree, broken up. Ahead to Robinson. Richard Robinson completes it. 38 34. And Jackson. Pushed by Poindexter. Boy, he's racking up fouls. Right and left. That's the sixth team foul. The Lady Volunteers still unbeaten in district play. Earlier tonight, they went 11-0 and picked up their 25th win of the year. Two outstanding girls teams this year. In the district, the Lady Cougars up Seguin and Bowie rebound Williams. That Seguin beat Bowie in girls play right before Thanksgiving. Intended for McCain. And he was jolted rather hard. Team foul number four on LHS. Robinson to dump it in. And a pass to Poindexter, right corner, three missed, rebound Dante Williams. You know he's going up with it. He releases and is fouled. And a basket and one for the Volunteers. It's charged to uh, Keith Marie, number 24. Connects on the free throw, the lead at seven. <laughs> 41 34 just underway here in the fourth quarter. They'll drop it off to Gray. 
Notre is trying to set a screen. He is given the ball, and Notre goes up, and McCain with a block. Poindexter on the drive, and Poindexter is pushed hard by Gray. Team foul number five on the Vikings. And a full timeout asked for here with 6.20 to go in the game. As we come back to play following the timeout, Rico Poindexter will fire twice. He's got eight points to make it a nine point lead. Balls have missed only two free throws tonight. Jeffrey Jacobs in for Jamal Gray. Each team with six fouls. Rico, good on the second. Big lead now to overcome for Lamar, down by nine. Volunteers on target to win their 19th game of the year. They've connected on three three-pointers. Julius Jackson. Make it four. They've had four. Champion and Jackson each have two. Oh, the arm span, the wing span on Dante Williams is just something to behold when he guards the defender. It must be seven and a half feet. There he is on champion. Keeps him well at bay. To the rim and the miss by no tree. And then Jackson holds Glover as he was set to break away. And there is the seventh, and it puts Bowie in the bonus. Ryan Glover at the free throw line. This could give the Volunteers a 10 point lead. And Dante Williams on over the back of Champion. Nope, lane by. They get McCain. Bruce McCain with a foul. That's the seventh, I believe. It is. Well, now they've got six, 16 fouls for Bowie. Jacobs hands it to Jackson. Five minutes to play. It was 24-24 to half. Jackson gets penetration, works on McCain and Williams, and that is a 17 foul. It's on Bruce McCain, and it puts Julius Jackson at the line where he is two of four. 14 points for the senior. Again, former Sam Houston and former Lamar coach Don Lewis will sit in with us and be our guest coach analyst next week at Arlington. Misses a second. The lead at eight. Jackson trying to get to it first. As it goes into the Bowie bench. Nail biter the first time these two teams play, 38-35. McCain shoots it cross court to Robinson. Under four and a half minutes. Robinson with a drive and a release and a miss. 
Gray ahead to Jackson. And the travel, he left his feet, came down, tried to give it to Jacobs on the wing. So the volunteer lead stays at eight. McCain around Williams, the drive and the miss. Horndexter trying to get it back. And controlled by Lamar. Three forty-five remaining. Down by eight. Long possession again for the Vikings. Try to go in the lane and intercepted by Robinson. They try to go to Jeffrey Jacobs, and the Volunteers took it away. And then the foul down court. A one and one for the. Volunteers with 329 to play. Richard Robinson. Robinson at the line. Bonus upcoming. There's the second, that spins out. Champion almost out of control, able to get a shot off. Williams out the pass ahead to Poindexter. Rico Poindexter working on Gray and then Champion with a block off the wall. Volunteers will maintain possession. Richard Robinson. And a deep toss caught by Poindexter on the wing. Cross court. Glover. Nice pass inside to McCain. Reverse layup. But McCain pushed off. Under three minutes and a nine point volunteer lead. We may finish on time, Spence, to go home and see the episode of Newhart tonight. Back to back episodes of Newhart. They've started up again. <laughs> Dick Loudon, short on the three by Jackson. Waiting, waiting, wide open and getting behind everybody. Rico Poindexter, timeout, Lamar. The Volunteers have now opened up a lead of 11. Poindexter tonight with a dozen points leading all scores for the Volunteers. Next high is Dante Williams with seven. Lamar paced by the 15 of Julius Jackson. Deontay Champion now with 12, and Lamar in danger of falling to five and four in the district. What that would do, depending on the San Houston outcome this week, is put him behind the Texans. Volunteers will play North Crowley again. They'll play them next week at Bowie. North Crowley won that first game by 11. That game could be for the district title. So, 2.28 to go. <laughs> Let's just get out of here with 
<laughs> no more stoppages is what Coach Gratz <laughs> may be indicating. It doesn't always happen that way. Vikings need points. They need a bunch. Jamal Gray, air ball, overshot it. And McCain with a rebound. Well, Bowie about to go to seven and two. There's a steal by Deontay Champion of midcourt, and he throws it down. He had it cocked and just slams it through. <laughs> And Deontay, timeout, Bowie, he's got 14 points. <laughs> so the steal and the deuce holds the Vikings to within nine. Again, join us next week for the National Signing Day festivities, Wednesday at 8 a.m. All the AISD athletes that will receive scholarships in all sports will be announced. A lot of colleges uh, involved for the Lady Vikings. Desiree Hampton will go to New Mexico Junior College. Dante Williams headed to Kansas State for the Volunteers and numerous other high school seniors in all sports. And an Oklahoma Sooner, the Big 12 fans here at Lamar. Forty-six, thirty-seven volunteers. Jerian Glover and Deontay Champion will be on the ball. And gets it to Robinson. Robinson tried to break away and then he's pushed from behind. He got a little assistance from Julius Jackson. And the 19 foul and a one and one for the Volunteers under two minutes to play. Richard Robinson tonight, one of two from the uh, charity stripe. Deshaun Lowry, a senior in for Lamar, number 23. We haven't seen Lorenzo play tonight for the Volunteers. Wouldn't have counted against the ball or uh, against, yeah, Bowie, it's Lamar's ball. Roy Siller, haven't seen him. We've seen Donovan Davenport. Gray hands it off to Jackson, try to go baseline, gets it back off of the hip. Jackson able to take it off of the hip as if it were glued and get a shot off. 46-39, minute 37 to play. And Bowie just trying to milk as much time off of the clock as possible, and there's the 10th. Wow, that's a double bonus. Uh. Deontay Champion sends Bowie to the line. And the double bonus in effect, Richard Robinson. Five, seven sophomore will shoot twice. That bumps the front of the rim and one more coming. There it is. And there's the 47th point. Eight point deficit, all picked up by Gray. To Jacobs in the corner. In trouble, he gets rid of it and there's the touch and the over and back. Thrown away by Lowry, that gives it Back to the Volunteers with 74 seconds left. He's three in the lineup for Lamar. 
Rico Poindexter in for the Volunteers. Makes the over the shoulder catch, does Richard Robinson. JT Brown and the give to McCain and followed up by Jerian Glover and the Volunteers will win it. 62 seconds to play in a block. On the Viking breakaway, the lead at 10. Lamar will fall to five and four in district. 13 and 11 on the season. Dante Williams back in. And Julius Jackson at the charity strike. Rebound McCain. McCain has done a nice job off of the bench tonight for the Volunteers. Robinson inside. Lover is eight points and contact in the front court with 49 seconds to play. The foul is going to be on Richard Robinson. It puts Deontay Champion at the strike. 14 points tonight for the senior. And 23 in the win over Martin earlier in the week. Sixteen points in the second half for the Vikings. Twenty-seven for Bowie. Look at this! I lost it. Picks it back up, and another slam for Dante Williams. <laughs> Got a little anxious and able to pick it up. Nobody was on him. Champion with a three that misses. Jackson trying to put it back. Thirty seconds to play. On the run is J.T. Brown. He'll pull it back out or try to. Kick picked up by Jackson. They try to go across the way to Glover. Julius Jackson scores his 19th point timeout. Lamar, 16.8 to play and down by 10. Kelly Carruthers, the victorious Lady Volunteers earlier tonight. And their 50-45 comeback win over Lamar. The Vikings led 36-21 in that game at the half. Again next week, it's Arlington and Sam. Got a game from the Colt Gym. The Texans fighting for a playoff spot as the varsity cheerleaders here at Lamar, I believe they've only got two more home games in the regular season. So Coach Burks has the five that he wants following this timeout. Number five, Sharyan Glover with eight points to inbounds. And airs it out the football pass, waiting is McCain. Bruce McCain with the throwdown. 55 43. With four seconds, Champion fills it up. Two more, but too little, too late. And that'll do it. The Volunteers win their seventh district game of the year as they polish off Lamar 55-45. Leading scorers tonight for the Vikings, Julius Jackson with 19. Deontay Champion finished also with 19. Or Bowie, Rico Poindexter, 12. Dante Williams, nine. They win both games this year, the first by three, the second by 10. Over the Vikings who fall to five and four as the Volunteers elevate their district record to seven and two. 
They won twice last year. They went twice again this year over Lamar. Well, that'll do it. Great job as always. Our thanks to our production crew, Spence, myself, Fern, Kurt, and Anna. Once again, our final score, Bowie 55, Lamar 45. Until next week, this is John Nelson saying good night from the North Star.